Hi guys, uh, welcome to Gritty's Race from Rest Dave Radio. I have put a dial indicator on a few other engines. Hold on. Radio, let's get this around to zero. It moves a little. Now this is Tom's engine. It's done 300,000 Ks, I'm pretty sure I was told. Right, let's zero that. Close enough for what we're doing. Just over seven. All right. Now this is a worn out engine. Worn bearings, unknown crankshaft. And we're looking at just over seven, maybe just a tad under eight. So that tells me that that is worn out and run out should be better. Now this one, this has another sleeve. Hold on, I'll set it up. Right, I actually checked this engine before. This is one that's got to go out to a client. So this done up had 15 thou. And I can prove this if you really want to see it. Now, what are we, okay, what are we looking at now? I don't really want to do this crank back up because I don't want to actually bend it from where I've got it at the moment. Right? So you're going to have to trust me on this. That's 5,000. That is, that's, look, it's not ideal, but tolerance stack up between the hub the sleeve that's in there and the fact that it did bend it slightly, I, I kind of get it. So when I loosened this, it was, hold on, you know what, fuck it, we'll do it up because I've got to I got to pull this straight anyway. All right, so I've done that bolt up. Now, watch this. Fourteen. Fifteen. There you go. Hold on. Rightio, let's go, let's get ourselves a high spot. I like problem solving. Problem solving is um, a very, very important part of building engines, especially nice engines. So this is a 7,000 RPM 2.8 with factory piston short rod one. So that's 5,000. So that I could get away with. This will have the sleeve pulled back off. I'm going to, right, so we're de deducing a way, I think that's how you pronounce it, to actually use one of these sleeves, probably 1817, 1792, so that's 0.3, right, uh, 0.25. Right, that's actually 0.25. So what I'll do is I'll open the center. Then I'm going to put that in on the crank. Let's go for a walk and talk. So this will go in and will go on the crank on the high spot where it's bent. The thick spot will go where it's bent over towards the, the actual dial indicator. So the crank will get marked. I'll do it up. I'll take it off. So what I'll do is I'll bend the crank back and then it'll relax. Now, depending how tight I do it up, <clears throat> so it'll get like 100 Newton metres, then it might go a bit more and a bit more. So I've got to actually make up a spanner so I can get my torque wrench on and not just use the, the rattle gun. Usually um, I'll put a block of wood in here and I'll torque it up with my torque wrench. Nice and easy. And I usually do it when the engine's open like this, before the rods go in. And that's where we are with this one. This one's another very, very nice detailed M20. This should have another set of detailed carbs and this one's not gloss black, this is all satin black. All right, but yeah. To give you a bit of an idea, this has probably got a, probably we're looking at 0 0.2, 0 0.17 out of round space or not. So, I haven't talked to the machinist again. I've been pretty angry and upset. Um, yeah, you could, you could imagine. So 10 of these spaces were made. 
I have accounted for nine. So I have to put a retraction or some some form of post up on E30's, E30 Australia page on Facebook and ask who purchased one of my other ones. I get 600 messages a year in my phone. I don't have three hours to go through my phone looking for the message, so I'll just put a post up and hopefully it's not in an engine. This could be a very costly exercise. We have I have to actually contact somebody today, a client that we have three of these spaces that are out of concentricity, I suppose that would be the word, they all in roller cam engines. They are all in $18,000 plus engines. <laughs> so, yeah, I've, got, I've contacted one of the other gentlemen, which is the rally car, and the other one is dirt rally car, so I'll contact him today. That's what, that's what I might actually do shortly. I might give him a ring and just give him a heads up and get him to check the run out on the crank. He's not going to spin it hard. He's only going to spin it to seven. I'm more worried about the guys that are going to spin their engines to 75, 76, all the way to about eight, eight, five. So realistically, this is the only one that we're really mega worried about because the M20 B29 that we've built is designed to rev to 8250 to eight and a half, the limit is set at 8250. So set there, it's getting driven there. It should, that should give us 400 RPM of wheel speed over maximum power. We're hoping 7,800. 7,850 is where our maximum power should be. We haven't even had it on the Donner yet, so we don't even know. So yeah, uh, we'll keep playing. We'll see if we can pull the crank straighter and, and go from there. Um, I'd rather not replace the crank if I don't have to. Uh, by what we've worked out, a well-worn set of main bearings, these will be at two and a half thou. Crank might have half a thou of wear, quarter of a thou of wear. So realistically, you pull two, two and a half thou off of that. And then, so from center line, that's four thou of walk. So we'll call that three and a half thou walk this way, all right? So it's only three and a half thou bend. So you've got a half, you have to actually half what the dial indicator says, right? So it's only three and a half. Now, they state one to two thou on Chevy crank snout, one to two thou on most snouts. Early old school big block Fords, uh, I read some stuff last night in regards, and they say that some guys will have three thou of run out. So that'll be three thou this way, right? At the end of the day, you want no run out. So you want a harmonic balancer that spins on there perfect. And then there's, it takes away harmonics, but it doesn't produce more vibration, which is what we're trying to solve by balancing and blueprinting an engine. Right, so here we're at, we'll call it eight. We'll, we'll guesstimate up a tad. So we'll call that eight. So that's fourth hour run out. So if there's two thou, say between two to three thou on the mains, half a thou, so we're talking about two thou so we are probably where gets us roughly to where we are on this so this one's actually getting a 2.8 crank and it's going to 2.9 with a set of pistons slight dish this is one of our budget stroker builds that we're doing for tom so for us we want so five five gives us two and a half thou run out so we're not far off so what I'll do is I'll chuck a, the spacer with five thou here. I'm going to do a couple of um, the couple of leftover spacers I've got. I'm going to do a couple of loose ones so I can put them on where the bend is and push crank back, and I've got to push it one or two thou further, and hopefully I get spring back close to the zero. Thanks for everyone that's uh, sent me really nice messages and and their thoughts are with us. You're awesome. Absolutely awesome. We will, we will resolve this situation and we will get the 2.9 on the dyno. All right, thanks guys. I hope you have a lovely day because no matter how much you cry, sometimes you just got to go whatever. <laughs> okay, thank you and I'll keep you all in the loop.